It was a little humbling to make this video and post it because I generally consider myself sort of an expert on the screen lift swirl design since it did originate from Nutritious Skin approximately three years ago. I've even written an article in the Making Soap magazine on this technique and I've had some stellar results, I think, overall. Um, <clears throat> but you're going to see today how I messed this batch up and what not to do. I'm so excited I got this new mold from Nurture Soap. I've been looking around for a long time for this mold of this particular dimension so that it could fit my specialty screen for the screen lift design. Um, designed and created by Chas of Wild Plantanica and as you'll see it fits in there just perfectly. And so we're going to be pouring our soap and then when it comes time we're just going to lift it out. Oh let me show you something first. If you'll notice there's like these threaded rods with little nuts and I just kind of, you know there's a nut on each side and I tightened it so that the threaded rods are secure so that when it comes time to pull up your soap, you just lift it up. Since making this batch, I did try this screen again in the same method, but with a different scent. And I'm making another video, which I will be posting, and I'll put the link in the description below. So you can see a messed up version and then a version that goes smoothly of using this screen in soap. Now that my batter is mixed, I'm dividing it into four colors. I have natural, I have black, and I'm coloring that with charcoal powder. For my pink, I'm using some pink Brazilian clay from Rainforest Chica and Rose Clay. And then that jar was paprika infused in canola oil for my orange. Everything up until this point was going gloriously and here I am adding my scent. It was a blend of geranium, orange and Lang Lang essential oils, but there was also a little bit of the butterfly garden fragrance oil from Nurture Soap and it was the first time I had ever used this scent. Um, and it had great review. It was a custom order for someone so they had requested this scent and it was the reviews had great uh, like testaments, like it worked really well, it didn't accelerate, and so I thought, oh, let's give it a try for this particular design. And I should have known better as an experienced soaper, I should have known that you never try a new fragrance oil with this technique, um, because it all started off well. But as you'll see in a moment, it didn't end up well. So the whole point of this design is to layer your soap in colors on a horizontal plane as evenly as possible. And then when you're done pouring all your soap, you lift up the screen and the soap is supposed to flow through the cracks. So as you can see here, the soap was starting to get pretty thick, but it was still workable but I only found out later it was only workable because I was still stirring it. While, while all that soap is sitting on the bottom of the mold, it hardened up pretty fast, as you'll see in a moment. Now as I started to lift up on this and I realized it wasn't coming out, I really wanted to turn off that camera and just skip the whole thing and not show you this 
because it's not always fun to show failures. But I decided I would keep recording because I knew the soap itself was still perfectly good soap. I knew that it was mixed properly, like everything, it was a, you know, good soap still. So I had to salvage it somehow. So I wanted to show you how I tried to salvage it. So much for my desire to be a clean soap maker. Um, this was a pretty messy batch and clean up was not fun, but at this point I'm just going to try to plop everything that's on the screen and plop it into the mold. And I just want to reiterate this was not the fault of the screen, it was not the fault of the mold, it was just the fault of user error and I should have known better than to use a new scent on this type of technical design that requires... Um, preciseness in the batter fluidity. So at this point I'm just going to manage it the best that I can. So I found my thicker skewer that I have and I'm just sticking it all the way to, to the bottom of the mold and I'm doing swirls and that's all I do for this batch of soap. So although like soaping may not always go your way or as you desire, it, it doesn't mean that it's a failure. Sure it was a design failure for what I had originally planned but it still ended up being a perfectly pretty and fine soap. I am now cutting the soap on a horizontal plane, and you can see the design there. I was noticing that I was getting a lot of air bubble spots from the planer, as you can see right there, and so I'm going to switch to a knife because I find I get a smoother, cleaner cut or glide when I use this, the knife. 